delve into the intricate realm of media manipulation and influence, as seen through Sage Steele's encounter, particularly focusing on the written discourse exchanged during her interview with Joe Biden. Here as we get set for a wonderful day in Happy sports, opening day for America's national pastime. This was about two months after he took office. Um, that was an interesting experience in its own right, because it was so structured and I was told, you will say every word that we write out, you will not deviate from the script. And so to the word, like every single question was scripted, gone over dozens of times by many executives, editors and executives. Absolutely. I was on script and was told not to deviate. It was very much, this is what you will ask. This is how you will say it. Um, no follow-ups. No follow-ups next. Yeah, I knew that this was a lot bigger than just the wonderful editors that I worked with. This went up to the fourth floor, as we said, <laughs> where all the, the bosses, the top executives, the decision makers are, the president where, of our company, the CEO, where, where they all work. Sage Steele's disclosures unfurl as tangible proof of a sweeping pattern of media partiality and regulation, where individuals find themselves coerced into rigidly adhering to preconceived narratives lest they diverge from the sanctioned script. There exists a palpable unease surrounding transparency, genuineness, and the liberty of expression as one scrutinizes the ramifications of interviews scripted to fit predetermined agendas on the media's integrity and the public's trust in its veracity. By accentuating the imperatives of media liability and impartiality, figures akin to Sage Steele can be galvanized to resist coercive editorial maneuvers and champion the cause of media autonomy and rectitude.